Greetings from Lehigh, Utah. We are at Ashton Gardens, Thanksgiving Point. It is 11.46 a.m. Mountain Time, 64 degrees. And we are at Ashton Gardens, like I said, to check out this year's Scarecrow Festival. I went here two years ago uh, to check out the Scarecrow Festival. I think this one's just an introductory scarecrow, kind of welcoming, welcoming you to the area. But it's a beautiful, like, you know, garden area in general. But then for a stretch of about a week, they have it where when you walk around, you can enjoy all of the fun scarecrows too. So this one is Scarecrow Swift, you know, play on Taylor Swift. It would have been funny if someone had uh, Swift and Travis Kelsey, since they're a couple now. Travis Kelsey of the Kansas City Chiefs. This one is Who Do You Voodoo? So it's a big life-size voodoo doll. Number three says Millie and Collie. I don't know the significance. Some of these, you know, because obviously people are just building these, these could represent like two actual people, Millie and Collie. Now, if that's from a cartoon that I'm not familiar with, my mistake on that. Yeah, like I said, as you're going through here, you can just enjoy all the greenery of the gardens. You got nice views of the mountains in the background. This is the final day of the Scarecrow Festival uh, for this year. Forgot if I said the date. It's Saturday, October 21st. This one is Friends of Utah Autism. Number five, we've got Mother Nature. I like how the hands are extended. And it really blends into the setting. It looks like a tree that's just embedded into the area. Number six is a scarecrow cemetery. Very intricate. We've got also some sayings on the tombstones. Number seven, the winter ice queen, and a number eight, autumn goddess. Number nine, Scaring Crows for Dummies. <laughs> and they actually have the book, Scaring Crows for Dummies. Get the flock out of here. <laughs> wow, look at that. <laughs> Don't think you can buy that one from the, <laughs> from the Amazon, right? Or rent it from the library. This one is Annie 
bobbing for apples. So our left we have Mrs. Hyatt's second grade class. They probably a uh, classroom put that together. Number 12, Groovy Gardener. Let me get out of the way. There's a golf cart coming through. The Groovy Gardener doing some disco moves. And then if I go back to this side, number 13, the Spirit of Aloha. Okay, they got the torches, the pineapples. And the little music to go along with it. Now this one on the left here, I don't think that's a scarecrow. That's just uh, <laughs> eyeballs and a mouth. Number 14 is Foster Care Barbie. If we turn to our right, the Spidentity Crisis. <laughs> this is that meme where they're pointing at each other like... I mean, it could also be a play on the Spider-Verse, how all three of them were there. We'll start with 17 here. You got the Polson family scarecrow. And then over on our right side, left side, sorry. Minions making a scarecrow. So the minions are supposedly teaming up to make this big scarecrow. On our right side again, we've got Grandma's Pumpkin Patch. And then back to our left, we have another intricate one, a family of volunteers. So you've got like the Butterfly Biosphere, Curiosity Museum, Museum of Ancient Life, Picture Yourself as a Future Volunteer, Ashton Gardens, and Farm Country. That's pretty cool to fit in with. That seems like a one that fits in with the vibe of this entire area. Maybe like promoting the gardens and uh, the whole festivity of it. This one is the Autumn Mobile. Autumn as in the time of season. I wonder if this is the Dwight Schrute one. A couple of years ago I saw a Dwight Schrute one in a, in a suit. Or is it a different character? No, it says Conrad Hilton. Hilton Garden Inn. <laughs> okay. So I guess it's an employee. And by the way, the Scarecrow Festival voting, you can do that QR code and vote for your favorite scarecrow. Number 22 over here is, looks like Taylor Swift again. So. Taylor Swift, we got two of them. I'm trying to remember how many scarecrows there were uh, when I visited two years ago. I feel like it was somewhere in the range of like 45 to 50. Here's Scaredy Lion. And then this next one is Nora the Nymph.
By the way, when I when you see me like hold for a few seconds on a particular scarecrow, a yes, I'm trying to show let you digest the detail of the scarecrow, but I also have my cell phone here that I'm snapping a picture with and trying to do a short vertical video clip to possibly make a reel of it. On our right here we've got Volunteer Barbie. So much like Daybreak Utah did the uh, Barbie houses, you got some people doing Barbie for the scarecrows. On our left here, number 26, is Butterfly Biosphere Bliss. So that seems to be something, again, related to the Ashton Gardens area. And then number 27 and 28, 27 says Pet Petunia, and 28 is Deborah the Explorer. I don't know if they're related, but they are right next to each other. here number 29 is old man gnome from the ridge cottonwood senior living area number 30 you've got fairy versus the fairy catcher blip not sure what or blippy Number 32, the monster of Phineas and Furbestein. I assume that's a cartoon. I'm just not familiar with it. It looks like Gumby to me. Yeah, the weather in Utah is just beautiful. I mean, this morning it was high 50s right now it's about 65 that's why I ditched my light jacket and went for just the t-shirt number 33 up here you've got the in quotation marks scare crow because it's like a an actual crow so sort of a play on words And number 34, Rugrats of Utah County. I remember Rugrats. That's the, the teacher. I believe that's the teacher. All right, we've got... Oh, the thing. Uh, like a video, small video camera, real, real tiny. But it, it shoots awesome videos, yeah. That's great. Uh, well, it doesn't, it goes straight to, uh, there's like an SD card in here. Okay. And then later I take it to my computer and upload it, or, yeah. That's mm -hmm. great. I love that. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's so convenient because it's tiny and, yeah. yeah. You don't have to have this big, like, stabilizer thing. You know? Right, and it is a stabilizer built into it, so it makes it so the footage is never shaky. That is great for this, especially, as you're walking along. I know, definitely. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I've had it too where I ride, like if I'm riding a bike, I can attach it to like in a chest mount edition and like ride and capture the bike ride and it's so smooth, there's like no bumps recognized. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Yeah. yeah, it's not like the, the other ones where you're like, whoa, <laughs> I know. Sick by the time you're watching it. Yeah, I look back at videos that I shot like four years ago before I had this equipment and yeah. I can't watch it anymore because it's like, all I see is the shakiness uh -huh. of the video. <laughs> no, you get distracted by the shaking. <laughs> right. I work with the patients that have a lot of like, and so like motion sickness mm -hmm. or stuff 
and I'll like show. I did a video actually through here to like make them dizzy <laughs> with just my like phone. And uh, I was like, I need to get one of those so that they'll be. They'll be like, you can take videos now without right. getting sick. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, where did you get it? Uh, this I got from Amazon. It's called the DJI Mini Two. Or DJI, sorry. DJI. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that was probably <laughs> I, I, I forgot. I may have said G because it's like, it's always hard to say GJ. Which one? DJI Mini 2. Uh -huh. Sweet. You have to mm -hmm. refer that to them. Alright. Awesome. Thank you so much. You take care. <laughs> yeah, you too. Alright, so you've also got Mighty Millie. And at number 36 is The Girl in the Green Ribbon. And look at this, 37, King of the Koopas. It says King of the Koopas, but it's otherwise known as Bowser. There you can see Bowser's head <laughs> painted onto the pumpkin. And then down here you've got some like the Koopas or the turtle shells. Over there is Westmore Elementary. They got a bunch of little scarecrows. But to our right side, you've got these characters going through portals. That's funny. One's like diving out of the portal, one's diving in. Let me get a quick video clip of this Bowser one. I actually did a scarecrow festival that I filmed at the Utah Botanical Garden Center. They do theirs in mid-September and very nice displays as well but they had a really cool Super Mario theme where they had Mario, Luigi, and Peach. can't remember if they had Toad in there. Maybe they just had like a his head. This is Bluey's Cure curious Halloween. Again, these are probably characters that are known to kids, but I am not up to touch, so to speak, on that, but it still looks pretty cool. And then there's those elementary school kids. Imagine them all on a field trip. See in the trees here they've got some colored spheres. Oh my god. I can recognize right away here on the right it's Bob Ross. It's got to be, right? Happy little trees. <laughs> I think I just found my favorite one, and that's probably purely for nostalgia reasons. Bob Ross and the Happy Little Trees. I gotta get a selfie with that one. Sometimes I just get a kick out of silliest things, huh? Number 42 is The Piano Man made by a bunch of piano keys. That's the whole cons construction composition of that one. Oh no. <laughs> We've got a McDonald's character over here. The Hamburglar. Complete with the McDonald's bag. Number 44 is Yellow Rainbow Friends.
It's number 46 on the left is Harvest Women. And then on the right side here is Gordon the Mechanic. Forty seven is Jenny for the Q T. Not sure what the reference is. Number forty eight, Ember and Wade. Number forty nine, Marilyn Monroe. So that must have been a, definitely an older person who put that one together. And again, if you were to explore the entire gardens, you know, there's tons of areas and beautiful stuff to look at, but we're staying on the path of the Scarecrow Festivals. There's the Best Sisters. Robo Crow. <laughs> Some robots made with circuit boards really <laughs> shimmied together with all the little bits and pieces you may have left over. Number 52 is Grand Berry. One thing that's cool about this, not granted I wasn't here last year, but I like how all the scarecrows are new and different from what I saw two years ago. Like I have not seen one repeat scarecrow yet. This is Napoleon, Pedro, and Deb. <laughs> Came that way and then we went to the so I've of course seen a ton of clips of Napoleon Dynamite. I haven't seen the movie, but that's still fun to see the characters. It's obviously recognizable. Number 54 is Dreaming of the Stars, and then number 55 right next to it is this episode of Bluey is called Scarecrows. All right, so I've seen two references to Bluey. Must definitely be a popular kids show. Let's continue on here. We might be getting toward the tail end or final stretch of the Scarecrows. Number 56 is Captain Crow No More, call sign. Alright, so remember earlier how I was talking about Travis Kelsey? Well, look at this. Right here. <laughs> they actually made the Travis Kelsey, and I assume these are variations of Taylor Swift. They even have, I don't know, I assume that's like a Swifty on the decoration down there. And it's 57, number 57 titled The New Era. What's he holding in his hand? A football and Cubano nacho cheese sauce. Number 58, the princess of the patch. Number 59, Kevin's a girl.
And I think this is the last one, number 60, Gingy. Which is a big gingerbread. Gingerbread man. do it for the Scarecrow Festival at this year's Ashton Gardens. 60 fun scarecrows to look at. And again, as I keep repeating, the whole area of Ashton Gardens, there's plenty to see. So once you see that, it's not just, I mean, I only really came this year for the Scarecrow Festival, so I'm not gonna walk around too much. But if you do come here for Ashton Gardens and uh, it's beautiful weather like this, end of the season. It makes sense to, you know, check out the event and then just enjoy the rest of the beautiful gardens. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next time. I think I'll sign off by looking at this unique looking carousel. quick bonus footage. They also have an area up ahead where it's like a very much kid themed thing and then they've got some food trucks, other decorations that make for picture opportunities.